This river, the Maitai, is important to iwi. It's the tūpuna awa for the iwi of this area. Also, it has been a historical pathway over to Waito to Glenham. Kaitiaki means the guardianship of the river. Now, the kaitiaki obligations for Māori are intergenerationally inherited from their tūpuna. It's about viewing the river as your ancestor and what you put into that river affects her well-being. So the modi of the river is affected by what we put into it. If the river's well, the community's well. In a city of 45,000 people, they can't do it all themselves and they actually need to work with the rest of the community to make the river well again, into a stage where it was 40, 50 years ago. So this river needs looking after, like all waterways in New Zealand. Friends of the Maitai came about when I returned after about 15 years from being away. The river wasn't like it used to be when I was a young adult. And I was talking to people that use the river and they felt the same. It's like, what is happening with our river? So we are making a difference through collaboration, working together, sharing information and learning together about the issues that face our river and working with the council on various projects that they're running. We're also involved in regular monitoring sessions with the Niwa Community Monitoring Project and that's been a wonderful opportunity to learn some of the science and also have a deeper understanding of the health of our river. We've seen that the differences in land use has an impact on the river. So we're at Teverley Pine Plantation. We know that those streams bring in nutrients and sediment. So one of the impacts of that is cyanobacteria or toxic algae. And then as we keep coming further down the river and we get into the, the space where we are now, which is a, an urban environment, and so there are other problems here with human inputs such as leaky sewerage pipes, um, which can cause high levels of E. coli and other bacteria. And we know that various different structures in the river are preventing the migration of our native fish up into the high parts of the, the river, which is really important as part of their life cycle. It's a real privilege, I think, as a scientist to be able to work on a river that's so important to the Nelson community, and it's been great to work with the council and the local community groups. And so really our role is to understand all the different processes and the interactions between those processes, and then use that information to help guide where best to put our restoration and efforts. Our Nelson community are really passionate about the Maitai River. And they were remembering things that they were used to be able to do that they couldn't do anymore. And the call was made to the council that says, do something about the river. And our council has responded. We've initiated Project Mahitahi to address those concerns with nine different projects. And through that, we'll see big improvements in the state of this river. There are probably three big learnings that we've had. One is that the status quo was just not an option. We had to do something about the state of the river. Second one was that there was a huge amount of community goodwill out there. The third one, why the river had been monitored over a long period of time, we didn't have a complete scientific understanding, so the work had to be based on good evidence. The end goal is a river for everybody, a river that people can swim in and enjoy, a river that they can take kai in. Now the council and our community want this to be the best urban river in New Zealand.